Today we will be discussing The Raven, a poem written by Edgar Allan Poe. Make sure you have the poem in front of you while watching this lesson clip. An unknown narrator is reading an old book on a December evening. While he is reading, he can't help but think of his long lost love anymore, when suddenly he hears a tapping on his door. He opens the door, but sees nothing or hears nothing except the word Lenore, an echo of his own words. He returns to his seat, but the tapping continues. The narrator assumes the tapping is coming from the window, and so he opens it. A large raven enters his room and settles itself above the door. The narrator asks the beast's name. The raven answers, nevermore. The narrator is startled by this, but predicts the bird will leave in the morning. Again the raven replies, nevermore. He sits down and starts to think about the word. He stands back up and calls the raven an evil prophet. He asks if he will ever see his Lenore again. Nevermore. The raven responds. The narrator becomes furious and demands that the raven returns to the night outside and torture him no more. Yet again, the raven responds, nevermore. The form of this poem. We have an ABC BBB rhyme scheme. We have the use of internal rhyme and of toraic octant. We also have repetition and circularity in this poem, as well as an emphasis on O sounds. A rhyme scheme entails that lines are given a letter symbol. If one line rhymes with another, they receive the same letter. In an ABC BVB rhyme scheme, the second line rhymes with the fourth, fifth, and sixth line. We see that the first line has been given the letter A. The second one, not rhyming with the first one, has been given another letter B. We see that the fourth, fifth and sixth line do rhyme with the second one, so they have been given the same letter symbol. The use of internal rhyme entails that words that exist within the same line rhyme with one another. For example, we see in this line that dreary rhymes with weary. Now we move on to the trachic octant. A trochee foot is a stressed syllable followed by an unstressed syllable. A line of trachic octometer is eight of these in a row. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. The use of rhyme, rhythm and meter adds to the feeling of mystery and the supernatural atmosphere. Genre The Raven was written in 1845 and is considered a romantic slash gothic poem. Some characteristics of romanticism are the overflow of emotion, the power of nature, the sublime, the supernatural, alienation and the glorification of the ordinary. Gothic fiction is a subgenre of romantic fiction where we have an emphasis on death and horror, especially on the boundary between death and life. We have a gloomy, decaying setting, we have evil monsters lurking about who sometimes drive the main character mad. Here we see some gothic and romantic elements of the poem. We have the setting, the alienation, the inner struggle and the extreme emotions, the power of nature, the supernatural, the monster and death, and more precise, the boundary between death and life. Edgar Allan Poe was an American romantic writer of poetry and short stories. He also wrote a lot of gothic fiction and is considered to be the father of science fiction. He was a bit of an odd figure marrying his 13-year-old cousin and his mysterious death. Now that we have analyzed the poem, we can fully appreciate its beauty. Enjoy! Created using Powtoon.